This is all about kids, small infants and young children and adolescents who suffer from liver disease. In undergraduate school at McGill, I became very interested in the sciences and from there I stemmed off to, to do medical school. Carrying a child through an illness has so much payback in terms of that you're taking a child and you're giving them a whole life. Think about what that kid may do in his life. You know, he can change the world. Maybe it's a kid like going to be like a Bill Gates or a, or a Zuckerberg. You know, in my career, for example, there have been new developments in the prevention of liver disease. We now vaccinate children for hepatitis B and for hepatitis A. We also have new screening tools, like for example, the stool uh, color card that we have now in the province of BC. This helps to detect uh, children, uh, newborns with liver disease earlier so we can treat them and they have a better outcome. Hi, my name is Heather Eastman and my son Owen was diagnosed with biliary atresia at six weeks old. At eight weeks old he underwent the Kasai procedure. There are new advances in diagnostics where we're now able to detect and diagnose kids with rare orphan-like liver diseases. I think without the research, I don't think that Owen would be as successful as he is today. Um, it would have delayed his diagnosis, um, we probably would have been heading down a very different track at this point, and Owen would probably be in line for a liver transplant at this point, as opposed to living a healthy one-year-old baby's life. And there is a great talent of people here at BC Children's Hospital, a great team that provide terrific care for all children. There have been great advances made in pediatric liver disease because of the terrific work that's been done in basic science and in clinical research. So our work in the laboratory, not just in my laboratory, but throughout the country, is involved in trying to develop new molecular biological techniques to be able to identify children who have an inherited or genetic form of liver disease and therefore manage them better. We also have new treatments and cures for now hepatitis B and hepatitis C. And of course, the whole field of liver transplant has changed tremendously. We're now able to take a piece of liver from a living donor, either a parent or a living relationship to the family or even a family friend. And we can take that small piece of liver and transplant it into a little baby, maybe a baby who weighs five or six kilos. And that liver will then live with that baby and grow with that baby for another hundred years. Uh, we're able to take stem cells and grow them up into human liver cells, which at the end of the day may mean that some kids, rather than needing an entire liver organ transplant, may just need a couple of cells to be transplanted into their body. Uh, these are amazing uh, developments in the treatment of liver disease for kids, and it's because of the research that we've been able to translate that into the clinical care of these kids. The CLF helps us to raise funds and provide grant funding for research. When we think about saving kids with liver disease, we can think about saving one kid and how it can affect so many other people. And our effort today, and our effort collectively, is to help save the lives of these kids who have liver disease. Sometimes I think he's just happy to be alive.